and we are back. Today we're going to go through the 22 and a half degree offset. Let's get going. Okay, so what we're looking at here, piece of pipe comes along and it offsets, and it offsets at a 22. So what we'll do is we'll draw our lines horizontally to the pipe to kind of show you how this thing offsets, and then the two angles. So it offsets by a 22 and a half on that side, and if you were to put an angle from the upper horizontal line, you'd also get a 22 and a half degree. All right, so now what we've got to do is define our parameters in here and what the names of the parts of the sides are. It just forms a triangle, just like the 45. So that side, from the bottom to the top, that's your offset. Okay. Now, if we draw two other lines there, from the beginning of the offset to the ending of the offset, we call that the advance. And then the piece that we're going to cut, that's called the travel. Those are our three sides, our three parameters that we're going to work with. Now, there's a couple of equations. There they go. I'll give you a second to take a look at those. So both relate to getting the travel. So the first one deals with the offset. The offset, or say, let's say the travel, is 2.61 times bigger than the offset, or the travel is the offset times 2.61. And same thing for the advance. It's 1.08 times bigger than the advance. So that's how the whole relationship. And if you were thinking, well, wait a minute, I can remember in school and these look like trigonometry numbers. Well, in fact, that's where the numbers are derived from. So it's the same kind of thing. All right. So what we'll do here is we'll do a couple examples to show you how to calculate this stuff. So first one, find the length of the travel if the offset is 12. So we can bring our lines back. Our offset's going to be 12, and the travel is what we're trying to look for, given that offset. The formula we're going to use, well, there's the two to choose from, and we're going to choose that one right there. All right. Now we go and plug in the numbers. The offset's 12 times by 2.61, and the travel is 31.32. There you go. It's no more than that. All it is is remembering a couple of variables, or constants, should we say. All right. Should we try another one? Find the length of the travel if the advance is 23. So now we're dealing with the advance and the travel. So we can draw these or put these lines back in. That's the advance, and that's 23. So we're going to be, oh, and that's what we're trying to find is the travel right there. That's the formula we're going to use. So now we plug in the numbers, 23 times 1.08. It's as simple as that. And the travel ends up being 24.84. Okay, I'm going to go through one more example. It's kind of a, the reverse now. We're going to try to find the offset given the travel. So the question becomes, find the length of the offset is if the travel is 37. So the travel is 37. Put our lines back in. What's that offset going to be? What would we get an offset of? Now, this is where we have to take our original formula and work it around a bit to calculate for offset. Offset is equal to, and it's going to be the travel divided by 2.61. We're just transposing that equation or working with that equation. Now, plug your numbers in, 37 divided by 2.61, and we get an answer of 14.18. And there you have it. That's the 22 and a half degree offset. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope it helped. And hope to see you guys back. Thanks for watching.